were alive. Hi everyone. Oh, I'm going to turn the light on. Hi everyone. Uh, welcome to a NFL football. It is a football season. <laughs> and uh, I'm John. This is my my dad Mark. We are John's Quitting Socks. And our name is Gray Habitat. This show is Gray Habitat Show. Oh, uh, Dad, I think I feel special today. What? We, it is an NFL football. It's our NFL pick show. Pick huh? show. You having fun? I do. You ready to spread a little bit of happiness? Spread happiness. It's the first day of November. Well, I love November. You do? Yes. But if I said it's the first day of October, would you say, oh, I love October? Yes. <laughs> and I'm I very special. I love November. Why do you love November? Because our, our great birthday is on November. Go ahead, tell me. Today. Today. It's my cousin's birthday, Tommy. Co Tommy, happy, happy birthday, Tommy. Happy birthday, Tommy. And I'm a business birthday today. Who? John Schneider. John Schneider, one of our colleagues. One of my colleagues. John. And I have most birthdays. What? It's my sister-in-law, Emily. Oh, she has a birthday, too. She's getting old. Not quite wrinkled yet. Yes, not yet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, that's all good. Oh, well, Thanksgiving coming up. We oh, like I, love, I love Thanksgiving. Right? Lot, lots happening. And uh, we're in the sock biz. Business is picking up, right? Oh, yeah. Been a, been we like that. We're getting busy again. There's nothing better than when we're busy and our place is filled with our sock wranglers. Yes. Right? So, uh, well, pick show, but we've had a lot going on. Where were you last weekend? Last weekend, we went down to Chi Town. Chi Town, which other people call Chicago. I'm going to Chicago. For the Law Enforcement Torch Run Conference. Very cool. Yes. So, um, it's the Law Enforcement Torch Run for the Special Olympics. And they had a conference, worldwide conference. The head was from Australia. We met him, Scott. Um, people from around the world. We met people from South Africa, from Australia, from New Zealand, from the Cayman Islands, from Germany. Yes, um, that. From all sorts of folks across Canada, Nova Scotia, um, Ontario, Alberta. Yep. British Columbia, the Yukon. Um, so... Uh, they started by organizing a torch run to take the Special Olympic torch and run it into an event that happened in Kansas City in 1986. Now they have over 100,000 members and they wow. organize torch runs to both raise awareness and celebrate uh, the Special Olympics. And every event there's a torch run with law enforcement officers You've had the opportunity to run a, a, the torch in a few I times. I did, twice. You, you like doing that, don't you? I do. But they also now organize um, polar plunges and plane poles. You know what a plane pole is? I don't know that. They get a bunch of people together and they pull a plane. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, we made some special law enforcement torch run socks. Yeah, we do. To celebrate them and uh, they raise money for the Special Olympics. You like that? I love, I love that today. Uh, we have new Special Olympic socks. That's very cool. 10% goes to the Special Olympics. Uh, so that was a lot of fun. Yeah, they do. You know, we're, do. we're catching up and uh, getting on things today. Today, um, oh, we met some interesting people today uh, that run a program called Adventures for All. Oh, yes. Um, which, anything. which organizes outdoor adventures, bike riding and hikes and, and adventure trails for people with different abilities. You might wind up doing one. Absolutely. Would you like that? Um, we spoke to some folks. We're going to Nashville for a speaking oh, engagement yes, cat. in January. Tomorrow we're speaking at Ocean Side oh, High, School. High School. We have a podcast interview tomorrow. And yeah, we do. A lot going on. And then this weekend's your last soccer practice. I well, know. tomorrow night is your first basketball practice. Yep. Saturday, your last soccer practice. I'm actually dad. Yes. My last, last soccer practice. Yeah. And next Saturday. Oh, but we'll be away. We'll be okay, in we'll be away. Cincinnati. And that could be my last day. And Sunday, what's going to happen Sunday? 
Oh yeah. What? Football. Oh, snowshoe. Oh yes, snowshoe. snowshoe. And you have a new snowshoe coach. Yes, I I, I have a play coach. Who? It's Who? my father. <laughs> because of my extensive snowshoe experience, I am now the snowshoe coach for your team. You're gonna run. <laughs> oh yeah, yes. <laughs> well, that's great fun. Um, all right, buddy. Well, you got some jokes to tell? I uh, you know, oh, I have theme jokes. Theme jokes. You always have theme jokes, don't you? And cookie jokes. Cookie jokes. Let's hear the cookie jokes. Why do basketball players love cookies so much? Why do basketball players love cookies so Be much? Because they can't. Because they can dunk them. They can dunk them. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. The chocolate chip cookie to trump all his chips. What caused the chocolate chip cookie to drop all his chips? Because that's the way the cookie bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> what did one side of an oil say to the other? What? I wish there wasn't, wasn't this white, white space between us. <laughs> okay, one more. Do you hear what's on every cookie thing list? What? Oreo and Juliet. Oreo and Juliet. <laughs> All right, well, I have... I have some jokes just as bad as your jokes. <laughs> so th this afternoon, the police came over and they were they were doing an investigation, and they said, "Where were you between five and six? I said, "I was in kindergarten." I don't <laughs> think that's what they wanted, though. Um, <coughs> so teachers teach in the class and says, "Maria, I want you to go to the map." <coughs> And point and find North America on the map. She goes to the map and she says, here it is. And now the teacher says, that's correct. Now, class, who discovered America? And the answer was Maria. She just found it on the map. <laughs> teacher says, Glenn, how do you spell crocodile? And he says, I spell it K-R-O-K. O D I A L. The teacher says, That's wrong. No, it's not. You ask me how I spell it. Took a little while on that one, huh? Yeah, yeah, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Donald, what's the formula for water? Oh, it's H I J K L M N O. Well, what are you talking about? That's not it. Yes, it is. Yesterday you said the formula for water was H2O. Oh, oh, my God. All right. So two brothers are in the same class, and uh, the teacher says, you know, Clyde, your composition on my dog is exactly the same as your brother's. Did you copy his? No. It's the same dog. <laughs> and finally... A teacher says, Harold, what do you call a person who just keeps on talking even when nobody's interested? A teacher? <laughs> no. no, that's rotten. That's rotten. That, that, that's bad. Okay. Want to go to our football picks? Yes, I'm really excited, Dad. Boy, there are topsy turvy things happening in the NFL. Trade yes. deadline. Couple, couple trades. The Washington team traded away their two starting defensive ends. And then last night, in the middle of the night, the Raiders fired their head coach and their general manager. They did? Yeah, Josh McDaniels. They fired him. And, and then they named Antonio Pierce the interim head coach. Now, for a long time, he was a linebacker for the Giants. And, oh, people said he's a great leader in things. I, I don't know. He... He was very good as a player. And then he coached at a high school in California, a powerhouse high school. 
His first year, he was 11 and 2. The next year, he had a losing record, their first losing record in 36 years. Ooh. And then he had another losing record, and they fired him. So he lost his job as a high school coach. Then he got a job as a linebacker coach for Arizona State under Herm Edwards. And uh, working with defensive coordinator Marvin Lewis. But ultimately, they let him go there, too. You know why? Because he was caught cheating on recruiting violations. Oh, my God. Then the Raiders hired him as the linebacker coach last year. And now he's their head coach. Seems like a crazy move to me, but we'll see. Wow. Can I take a minute? Yeah, you want some of that? <clears throat> and a lot of crazy upsets last week. Denver, who at one point looked like they may not win a game. Denver beat Kansas City. Not surprised. And then there was that Jet Giant game. That was remarkable. I know. It looked like the Jets had truly lost, and our man, Zach Wilson, brought them back from the precipice of defeat. Snapped victory from the jaws of defeat. How'd you like oh, that? I'm so happy. All right, it's Wednesday night. Tomorrow night, there is a game. The revitalized Tennessee Titans are playing. They're coming uh, to Pitch Pittsburgh. Steelers. Um, Maybe uh, Tennessee is a new quarterback and Will Levis. Meanwhile, Pickett, not sure if he's going to play tomorrow night. Who are you taking in that game? I think it is Steelers. I am taking Tennessee. Tennessee, Tennessee, ain't no place I, 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 I think of I think of the Pittsburgh defense. You think the defense will shut him down? Yeah, I, I think the defense will shut him down. Well, you know, you know what you're doing. Last week you were 11 and oh, 5. Oh, yes, I know. But I was 12 and 4. <laughs> I, I, 12 and 4 is better than 11 and 5. I know. Okay. Then Sunday morning, while we're off at snowshoe practice, they'll be kicking off in Frankfurt, Germany. Big game. Miami Dolphins, the Finns. Or playing Kansas City. Who are you taking? I'm taking the Chiefs. You're taking the Chiefs, huh? I am taking Miami. I think yeah. the Chiefs are struggling on offense. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. I think um, you know Miami's getting their offensive tackle back. Uh, that should be a good, fun game. But, you know, Kansas City, their offense doesn't quite seem to be clicking. That Minnesota, who just lost uh, Cousins as their starting quarterback, they're oh, traveling to Atlanta. Oh. Yeah, they're going to have a backup quarterback, and they're playing Atlanta. Who are you picking? I think I'm fucking... You are, huh? Hmm. Mm. That's a tough one, because Atlanta, even when they have their starting quarterback, they struggle. Um, yeah. I think I will take Minnesota. Agree with you. That will rise up. And then the Arizona Cardinals. They traded away their quarterback. They're going with Kyler Murray. They are traveling to Cleveland. Cleveland with that great defense, but an uncertain offense. Who are you taking? Taking the Browns. Yeah, I think their offense will hold that. I don't know who's playing quarterback for them this week. And the Rams at Green Bay. I take good for the Rams. So am I. Green Bay is really struggling. Yeah. Um, really struggling. And then here's an, an unusual game. Washington, which has really been struggling lately. But then the one team they play really tough is the Eagles. They are traveling up to New England. A scenic trip, you know, nice. See the, see the foliage in the fall up in New England? <laughs> Who are you taking? I'll take Washington. You think Washington? I'm going to pick New England in that one. And then the Bears. The Bears, Bears fired another coach today. Assistant, co assistant coach um, for misbehavior. Uh, Ooh, they are traveling. I don't know. They are traveling to New Orleans. Uh, Louisiana. To, to play the Saints, who all of a sudden seem to start clicking. You know, Kamara, boy, he is underrated as a running back. I'm glad I have him on my team. 
Um, who are you taking? I'm taking the Saints. So am I. You know, I'm, I'm looking at that New England game. Boy, New England's been struggling. You just don't have the talent. But they'll beat Washington. I, I agree with you. The Saints will beat Chicago. Chicago's not a very good team. Now, the next one is an intriguing game. It could be the two teams we can see in the Super Bowl. Seattle at Baltimore. I'm taking the Seattle. And I'm going to disagree and take Baltimore. Ooh. But Seattle, they made nice moves adding Frank Clark and, um, and adding uh, Williams to the defensive line. They look good. And Tampa Bay at Houston. I'm taking, I'm taking Houston. I'm going to take Tampa Bay. I think, you know, we'll see how Baker Mayfield does there. I, I, I really like the other uh, uh, Houston quarterback. He, Stroud's been playing really well. He's been the best rookie quarterback, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, he's playing pretty well. All right, Colts at Carolina. Oh, definitely the Colts. Definitely the Colts. I'm agreeing with you on the Colts. And then the New York Giants. Oh, I like this. They got Daniel Jones back this week. They're playing at Vegas. They might also have their tackle Andrew Thomas back. Who are you taking? I'm taking the Raiders. I'm taking the Giants. I think the Raiders are in disarray. They're starting a rookie quarterback. They're, they're benching Jimmy G. New coach, who will see? Then what could be the game of the week? Big, big implications. The Dallas Cowboys are playing in Philadelphia. they got to play the Eagles. Boy, Cowboys looked good last week. Yeah, I'm taking the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles just quite, haven't quite had it. I'm going to take Dallas. We got a lot of disagreements this week. I know. <laughs> not and problem. then a replay from last year, Buffalo at Cincinnati. Cincinnati is sort of slow, but boy, they have come on now. I'm taking Buffalo. Buffalo. I'm going to take Cincinnati. Wow. Look at all the disagreements we have. I and then know. Monday night, the Chargers I love this. are coming across the country to play our New York Jets. Are you betting with your head or with your heart? Both. Who are you taking? The Jets. Oh my, the Jets. J E T S. Uh, yes. Jets, 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 Jets. All right. So we got to tell you, folks, we didn't warn people. Oh. This is just for entertainment. Yeah. Don't bet with, don't. Don't bet our pick. Hold on to your money. Hold your money. We pick straight up. We don't pick against the spread. It's entertainment value only. only. Mm -hmm. um, we'll check in with a couple of people. Um, let's see here. Your friend Blake is saying hello. Hi, Blake. He's a cowboy fan. He's rooting for the Rangers in the World Series. Um, you got... Uh, David is saying hello. Hello, David. Oh, Victoria Slattery has a joke. Hi, the gingerbread man went to the doctor, went to the doctor for a sore arm. The doctor asked, have you tried icing it? <laughs> <laughs> Susie Vaughn, uh, she Susie needs Vaughan. her bats are tough, to, struggling this year. They need help. Okay, Susie. You saw so many Super Bowls and so many winning seasons. You got to wait ten years before you can start to complain. We know what it's like to suffer as a Jet fan, right? Yeah, you got a long way to go there, those Patriots. Um, yeah, you know, Patriot fans. Maybe they've been a little spoiled. Do you think? A little spoiled. Let's go. All right. Well, we we hope folks have been having a good week. You've been having a good week. I do. We're excited. You still got another phone call tonight. The yeah, National Down did. Syndrome Society. Yeah. You're a busy man. Yeah, Dad. Oh. I, I probably, uh, probably today I got I, I talk to Paul up, up, up next week. Yeah, and next week we go to Cincinnati for the um, National Down Syndrome Society's uh, uh, self advocate. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I talk about it tonight. Uh, they may talk about that tonight. Next week we we're speaking at that. We're speaking. Virtually at a caregiver uh, conference this weekend, 
you got things planned for us. Mom's going to be away. Want to have some fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We need a fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks. Hey, if you want to get great socks, where can you get them? A week, we go at johnscrazysocks.com. Johnscrazysocks.com. All right, folks. Thanks a lot. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye. I love you, Dad. <laughs>